Good afternoon and welcome to the Windsor Star's Net News at Noon. I'm Craig Pearson with Don MacArthur bringing you the best from the paper and the web. Detroit Tiger fans in Windsor and Motown are outraged over a blown call in the ninth inning last night that would have given Armando Galarraga a perfect game. The uh, blown call came in the, the third out of the ninth inning of what would have been the first perfect game in Tigers history. Yeah, man, the, the, the whole game went down like a Hindenburg, uh, like it was a spectacular uh, uh, disappointment. People people could not believe that we had our photographer, Ben Nelms, uh, he was there, did a gallery uh, online. It's all anyone is, is, is talking about uh, around this place. Uh, today, if we had a water cooler, we'd be crowded around it. And um, lots of class uh, was shown by all the folks last night. The umpire, actually, Jim Joyce, everyone says he's a good umpire. Uh, he actually apologized uh, sort of to the pitcher uh, profusely. And a lot of folks are wondering whether or not we should uh, have a new instant replay rule uh, for baseball. It's our poll question of the day, and 85% of you say change the rule. Meanwhile, support for the federal Conservative Party has slipped according to a poll released this morning. The Conservatives dropped from 34% to 31%, while the Liberals inched up a little bit from 26 to 27%. It's getting almost even. The Maytag repairman is about to get a whole lot busier, folks. Uh, the massive recall announced this morning, up to 2 million uh, dishwashers across North America uh, are going to be recalled there. Arthur Carlson is uh, it's going to be in tough. And about 160,000 of those uh, are in uh, Canada. A bitter family dispute is being blamed for one of the worst mass killings in Britain's history uh, after a 52-year-old taxi driver went on a five-hour rampage. He killed 12 people, including himself, and injured 25. Okay, folks, and this actually, this really is hot off uh, the fax machine. Uh, a driver has been charged uh, with an in indecent act out on uh, Highway 401 uh, near the Skane side road uh, there. Uh, Timothy Lodell, a 44-year-old from London, Ontario, uh, he's facing charges for allegedly exposing his genitals uh, while driving. We're going to have video on that for you later in the day. <laughs> Not explicit video, though, I hope. Anyway, uh, if you like pets, though, you should check out our your pets section online and please send us your photos the cute stuff we'll get online too okay folks uh, we have a special guest uh, today um he asked we don't uh, play politics here we don't play games but uh you know we like the news this guy asked to be on so here he comes uh, al magni he's a candidate uh, in ward 10. Uh, he's worked uh, for dwight duncan for about seven years works for sober uh, steering systems right now lifelong windsor resident 29 uh, years old boom uh, welcome to the show what are your big issues for the upcoming campaign? Well, thanks so much for having me on the show. Uh, well, biggest issues I would say is uh, the relocation of the Zaylip Brothers scrapyard. It's uh, it's a heavy industrial urban blight that needs to be confronted. It's about time. Uh, I know that we've built up around it. Uh, another big issue is attracting more doctors, a fair property taxation model, and uh, most lately, uh, which I've been hearing at the door, we give them so much construction, traffic synchronization. I've got a lot of feedback on that. I appreciate everybody's emails for and you know, some against. And, a democracy, but uh, I think the city's doing an excellent job in traffic synchronization. Uh, but ben, you I said you said you, they should spend two million. You said they're out of whack, and we need yeah. red lights, green lights, and we, you got to spend two million to have an intelligent traffic management absolutely, system. Absolutely, absolutely. And and the, the see the thing is, we have an intelligent traffic uh, management system along here on Church, major arteries. I think we can take that great system that they've worked so hard to build and expand it to other areas in the city where it's lacking. Uh, on the city's own admission, there's about 40 intersections that are broken. We need to fix them, upgrade them. Uh, we need to get some new technologies in areas. We need to take out some traffic lights where there's closed alleys and there's a traffic light on a major artery, and the other road to it is a closed alley, and especially on rush hour traffic where it's backed up to the backed up miles. So we need to get that fixed and uh, work together and get it done, and that's why I'm a candidate. And well, I just, yeah, it seems to be a strange main platform to have, synchronization of street lights. I mean, I would like to have them better synchronized, yeah. but truly, is that one of the main issues uh, facing it's, it's, today? It's, it's, it's not a main, main issue. It's something that has come up at the doors significantly because of construction. Uh, it's something that uh, I cannot just let go and say, uh, all right, well, we'll hopefully get to it sometime. No, uh, I want to hear what people have to say, and I want to do my best to be able to confront these challenges on their behalf. Uh, the main issues, like I said, are attracting more doctors, a fair property taxation system, and uh, the relocation of the Zaylip Brothers scrapyard, and that all ties into the economy. So if we can get Windsorites moving in a f uh, faster and efficient way, getting to work on time, getting the goods flowing on time, uh, having a, qu a better quality of life by uh, clean air, clean water, getting rid of urban blight. Uh, How many uh, doors you knocked on? Uh, so <laughs> far, uh, including yesterday, now we're up to about almost 1,400. So and what do you think about the HST? Uh, <laughs> well, I uh, obviously was part of the finance minister's team when that Starting came in. It's uh, it's an economic uh, 
it's an economic necessary. And you know, we didn't do it to be popular, uh, but uh, it's it's one of those things where it's like Buckley's. It tastes awful, but it's going to work. Can you give me in one sentence what is a fair taxation system for property? Well, when housing markets, uh, when the housing value is going down and properties and taxes are going up, uh, that's a problem. So we need to what we can do to make sure that our taxes are in par with the property value of your home and what's fair to uh, the folks. So we need to hear from them, continue to consult them, and uh, get imp impact, continue to work with property residents. All right, folks, uh, members, send us, our, uh, send us your pet photos, and I don't care who you vote for, but make sure you get out and vote online and on your porch. We are the Windsor Star.